A beautiful Cape Town day marked the return home for the crew and scientists on the world-class polar research vessel, the SA Agulhas II. The UCT oceanographers were part of an international team of research scientists who journeyed to the frozen depths of the Weddell Sea in Antarctica. They had two key objectives in mind. Um, the first was scientific. There was a significant scientific program. Um, and the second was to try and get to the site where Sir Ernest Shackleton's endurance sank. The scientists were keen to find out more about the ice shelves around the Weddell Sea. In 2017, there was a huge, absolutely enormous iceberg that carved off the Larsen ice shelf, which is basically evidence of the collapse of the ice shelf. And this is being driven by warming. And so this is a problem that will have global significance. If you start getting these ice shelves collapsing and ice flowing from the continent into the sea, you're going to have sea level rise all over the planet. The team managed to get to the ice shelf, a rare occurrence. It proved very rewarding for some researchers. I think the highlight for me was collecting over 90 ice core segments. Previ on previous cruises, we'd only collected a maximum of 12, so having 90 is really going to help us in, in our research understanding the sea ice conditions. The scientists use state-of-the-art technology, including underwater drones and robots. So our main instrument would have been the CTD, which stands for Conductivity, Temperature and Depth. It goes down to 6,000 meters. Um, and we can measure all sorts of oceanographic parameters as it goes and on the way up we can fire the bottles and shut it at different depths to collect water samples. Most of the UCT team members spent three months at sea. Along the way they were treated to some amazing sights. They made it to the area where Shackleton's ship was trapped and crushed by ice and returned with a wealth of knowledge. We managed to do some incredible science. We managed to go somewhere where people haven't been able to go before. We managed to do experiments that will hopefully give us um, an incredible understanding of the Antarctic. 